Welcome back to this episode of Rad BMX Builds. We got something pretty different today. We got some bikes to build, and per the thumbnail, a couple custom 24 inch dyno bikes. But before we jump into that, I wanna say thank you to the nine people that bought bikes from the collection. Some of you thought I was full of you know what, and I wasn't selling any bikes. Well, you missed out. There were two different videos that came out. I sold bikes in two different batches, and now nine bikes are off to their new owners. And if you guys are watching this video, Thank you again, enjoy the bikes and stay rad. Okay, also, I got some bikes coming in and I can't wait to do those videos for you. A 1979 Eddie King Torker and I believe a 1990 Redline build coming in with some really killer parts. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you wanna see those videos. They are coming very soon. The bikes get here tomorrow, I believe from Ernie's 80s Bike Shop where they got powder coated and some restoration done. But I don't wanna give away any more on that. Make sure you subscribe and watch those videos when they come out. Okay, you're here for the 24 inch custom dyno build. I bought two of these bikes from Planet BMX when they were on sale. So right here behind me in these boxes are two brand new bikes. However, I wanna show you what can be done with these bikes. I, a couple years ago, built a 24 inch dyno Pro Comp Team model in all black to replicate the 1987 dyno back then. Let's take a look. Okay, if you remember these bikes, they came in red and they came with no front brakes. They didn't come with much, honestly. They were a bare bones 24 inch dyno wannabe. This bike now replicates that 1987 dyno Pro Comp, which I believe is the look they should have gone with. I went all out on this bike. Amy Grips, Dino Donuts, Tech 77 Levers, Odyssey Gyro, and the bars are the BMX bars, not the Cruiser bars. The gyros were really what makes this bike. And then I want you to take particular notice in the front brake on this bike because the ones in the box aren't like this. The ones in the box are 990 mounted. So they're not the old school where I had to run the cable down through a POTS mod bolt, down through the forks, and route it around up into the front brake, like an old school bike. These ones, the brand new 2023 white dynos, come with a 990 mount, so you can't have this look unless you have an older bike. This uh, added some fork standards too, some 24 inch Skyways, Kenda K50 tires, GT seat post clamp, I repowdered the bike black, re-decaled it, and then I come down here, only added a chrome and black chain. This all came with the bike. Then I added some black frame standers, swapped out the brake pads, added a double bolt seat post clamp, a snake or drain pipe as it was called, seat post, and this is the brand new dyno re-release from pork chop seat. So this bike is my personal bike. On the fence whether I should sell this or not to be perfectly honest with you. But that's what it can look like. Now, what am I gonna do with these? First of all, we gotta open it. One of them, I'm gonna leave white. The other, the other's gonna go to powder coat and that'll be in another video because I'm gonna send it off to Ernie's 80s Bike Shop and we're picking a a, a color that was already done by Dino, but nobody else is using it. It blows my mind. Everybody wants one or two colors that have just been so played out and done over and over that I want to be different and I'm going to build one differently. However, it's got to go with a lot of the parts and components that come on this bike because I don't want to swap literally everything out. These bikes come with some pretty rad parts. GT hubs, GT cranks, so on and so forth. So I don't wanna to have to swap those out. So what's a good color that goes with them? You're gonna have to stick around to find out. First, let's unbox the first bike, get it out, assemble it, and take it on a little ride.
Okay, honestly, let's talk about that packing. Huge shout out to Planet BMX for putting about an entire forest worth of paper into that box to protect this bike. I really like seeing that extra added attention to detail and that's something that they do. They add the extra paper, the extra padding for protection. So if you buy a bike from Planet BMX, you'll be getting that too. Okay, the bike is out, unboxed, not assembled yet, but I wanna show you what we're working with and honestly in person, the white looks way better than it did in the photos. Let's check it out. All right, here it is, out of the box, unassembled, the white 24-inch Dyno Pro Comp Volker model, which is pretty rad that they put that. And now you can see that front brake like I was talking about, the difference between this and the older model. It does come with the Dyno Pretzel Cruiser bars, not the BMX ones. Your manual, some pads, and some pegs. Also comes with some GT platform pedals and a GT padded seat. This is a nice little touch right here. The National BMX Hall of Fame inductee, and that's Dave Volker. So pretty rad looking bike. I'm gonna get off the rest of the reflectors, stickers that are on the cranks, probably that big warning sticker right there. And then we're gonna start putting this bike together. Okay, the bike's all put together and it wasn't too bad. The front brake, kind of a pain and the manual doesn't show you anything about this style of brake. So if you don't know how to do this style of front brake, take it to a bike shop, have them get it dialed in. Let's talk about a few things that I do not like about the bike and that's going to be the tires, the grips, the seat, and a few other little things. So let me show you on the bike what it looks like all together as it comes out of the box, and we'll talk about those parts, and then we'll talk about what we're gonna do to it. Okay, here it is all completed, and how it comes when you buy it, and then let's talk about the brakes real quick. This style front brake is not shown in the manual, so if you don't know how to put that style of front brake together, take it to a bike shop. Couple things I don't like. I don't like the cable, I don't like the lever, and I don't like that style of brake. And I showed you the brake on my black dyno. I like that style much better, it's much more old school. The grips, I do not like this style of grips. I like the old school flanged grips better as well. Okay, the tires, the 24 inch GT smoothies. These are reminiscent of like the Tioga pool tires, but these are much more of a balloon tire. And they just, the proportion's not correct on this bike. So I think it's more of an eyesore than anything. I don't like it whatsoever. So that's something that I would have done without on this build. Decals are amazing. Frame's amazing. Crank setup is amazing. They also come with a high flange GT sealed bearing hub. That's amazing. But what I don't like 
is the seat, a big, fluffy, padded cruiser seat, and I'm not a fan of that. I also do not like the chain tensioner that it comes with. So those are a few of the things that I personally don't like the look of that I would swap out. Comment down below, what would you swap out on this bike? Now keep in mind, this is just out of the box. This has nothing to do with the build that we're gonna do with this bike, but it may give you some clues on some of the stuff that is getting swapped out. But not a bad looking bike right out of the box. I really like the white, I like the decals. Not sure if those are gonna stay, but I think it's a pretty rad bike. And we're gonna take it for a little ride, but I wanna show you the side-by-side -side comparison of my black one versus this one. Okay, let's start right up top. Take a look at the stock grips, levers, bars, how wide those cruiser bars are. Then you compare it to this one. Everything's been replaced on this bike and it really just gives it that old school look having the BMX bars. The Odyssey gyro is huge. What a cool look. And I think they should have done that on this old or this new bike and make it look like an old bike. So Amy grips, the Tech 77 levers and the Odyssey gyro is just a better look to be perfectly honest with you. They ran the cable right down like a new school bike through the top of the fork tube, out the bottom, and I had to use a zip tie to hold that cable up out of the way of the tire. And it's all very new school technology. I get it. It's a retro bike with a new school flavor, but you can do an old school flavor on a new school bike, and I just think that looks a little bit better. Okay, let's talk about the wheels and tires. This one does have the spokes and the big balloon smoothies. This one I went with Skyways, and then I did the Kenda, much narrower gum wall tire. So tell me what you like. Do you like the Skyway gum wall version or the spoke balloon tire version? Obviously, right? Added fork standards here, doesn't have it on the other one. Odyssey gyro goes back nicely. But then we swapped out seat clamp, seat post, and seat. And in contrast, you can see a really generic, ugly seat post clamp, and it's just hideous. And then a new school seat post, which I don't mind the seat post, to be perfectly honest with you. But this big, ginormous seat, which is nice to sit on, but it is way too big for the bike. So I like the dyno seat, gives it an old school look. And now that they're remaking these, why not? Grab yourself a dyno seat and pop it on there. I think that'll look a lot better. Okay, so there you go. That's kind of a side-by-side -side comparison for you of the two bikes. Essentially, these bikes are identical except for all the modifications. And then don't forget the newer ones with the different brake mount. So okay, let's take the new one head out on the road and give it a little road test. So it looks real good in the light actually in the sunshine and it's very smooth, very quiet. I like that I could hear the free wheel on it. So yeah, honestly, I really like the way it rides. However, the front wheel, having that big balloon tire on it actually makes it to where it hits your foot real easy. And I'm not a fan of that. So you can see how close it comes. So another reason to get rid of those big old balloon tires. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I like the cushy, comfortable seat when I'm sitting on it. It's just the wrong look. So if you don't want to swap it out, it does say GT BMX on it, and you want a little cush for your tush, that's fine, that's cool. But not always the coolest thing is the most comfortable thing. If you want this as a rider, and you're just gonna daily this or whatever, that might be a good seat for you. I'm an old school guy, I wanna make this look like an old school bike, so the seat's probably gonna go. Okay, let's talk about customization. In the next video, we're gonna customize this bike and pull the other one out of the box where it's gonna get shipped off for powder coat. I've already been buying parts for this bike ever since I ordered it, and a lot of them are already here. So I'm gonna be swapping out a lot of parts, giving this bike more of that bike's looks 
but I'm gonna keep this one white, so that's good. That'll save some money. I don't have to powder coat it, but do I leave the decals or do I swap them out? If you've been following the Instagram page, rad underscore BMX underscore builds, you might already know the answer to that. And if you're not following that page, you should because you're gonna see daily updates on what's happening. YouTube videos only come out once a week or so, so it's gonna be a little while before you see the transformation. On Instagram, you're gonna see daily updates. So get over there, give us a follow. Okay, that's it for today's unboxing and test ride of the bike. If you want some merch, hats and shirts, hoodies, it's that time of year, get over to radbmxbuilds.com. Okay, that's gonna do it for today. Thanks again for watching, and I can't wait to show you the transformation of this bike and the other one. So make sure you hit the subscribe, and you can see those videos coming very soon. And as always, stay rad.